PC. Welcome to Bliss. Hey, this is Todd from Pure PC Online, and today we're going to be checking out the Logitech G510 keyboard and the Logitech G700 wireless mouse. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Looking at the packaging on these two products really doesn't blow me away. There's nothing too spectacular about it. But uh, I'm not really too worried about that because typically Logitech produces some pretty outstanding hardware. Starting off with the keyboard, you can find some of the key features on the back of the box. Game panel LCD, customizable backlighting, integrated USB audio, uh, things like this. But uh, really the back of the box only describes uh, just a very, very limited, uh, you know, surface deep uh, detail of what this keyboard actually does. It's, uh, it's actually a pretty neat piece of hardware. We're going to get into some of, the, uh, some of the key features here in a little bit. Also inside the box you're going to find some uh, manuals, some ads, a uh, user guide, and of course the software which is actually very user friendly and uh, it's actually kind of fun to play around with with the macros and the uh, backlighting. Logitech also included an attachable armrest for a little extra support, but uh, I never use it, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it in the plastic. Moving on to the mouse, the packaging is very similar to that of the keyboard, but it is a little bit fancier, so I kind of appreciate that. Some of the key features include 13 programmable controls, so with that you're looking at an insane amount of extra macros. Moving on to the box itself, uh, you're going to find a user manual inside. Along with the manual, you're going to find a USB to PC adapter, and also in case that your nano receiver is too far away from your mouse itself, there's an actual extension. The mouse itself is kind of clunky, it has buttons everywhere, and I don't really care much for the free spinning wheel on it. Uh, I kind of like the one that clicks like my old mouse, but you know, what are you going to do? And finally, we have the nano receiver itself. So let's jump right into it and show off what this keyboard can actually do. The LCD, uh, just standard by itself, it's going to have a clock a countdown reader, an RSS for your news feeds and everything like that. You can set it to whatever you really like. You can even uh, have a macro for a movie slideshow. And there's a bunch of other different settings that uh, are pretty neat. Next I'm going to show you something that we've wrapped from the computer. Uh, this is a look at the actual software that it comes with. You can change all the colors of the backlighting from uh, just about any kind of color you want as you can see. I mean, any color you can think of you can set as a macro and you get three functions for each set of uh, 18 that you would like to have. While it only has really one function and that's aesthetics, this really was my favorite part about the keyboard, just how customizable the backlighting was on the keys itself. Logitech has made it just as easy to change your macros as it is the backlighting with their programming. All you really have to do is click on the key, set it to exactly what you want it to do when you hit it, and uh, you can create like simple macros to open web browsers and stuff like that, but I'm sure if you sat around and played with it, you can create really cool macros inside your games, especially for your RTSs out there. And finally, we're going to talk about the G700 mouse. As I said before, it has a lot of macros, uh, 13 programmable controls, four of which are located at your thumb, there's some at your index, and the rest of them are going to be found at your middle finger and inside the wheel. The only problem I find here with the mouse is the fact that if you pair the mouse macros along with the keyboard macros, it's just a little bit overkill. There's no way that you would ever really need that many macros in the game. Uh, I just don't really see any real use for it. In conclusion, you're looking at about $100 for the mouse and the keyboard each. As for the keyboard, I would, uh, I would probably go out and get this. I actually like how customizable it is. It looks really good with my computer. But as for the mouse, I would probably have a hard time justifying spending the money on it. That's all the time I have today. Thanks for watching. Please show me some thumbs and comments. And if you like what we do, please subscribe.